This year's 24 Hours of Le Mans will see two of the world's biggest manufacturers go head to head. After a heartbreaking defeat last year, Toyota will field three TSO 50s in an attempt to overcome the might of back to back winners Porsche. Le Mans is obviously the very big target for us, number one target. So going there with three cars for the first time, I think it's great. We had a good preparation, so hopefully, you know, that's going to be our year. You know, when I think about Le Mans, it's just a dream come through for me. It's just amazing, you know, it's just uh, really waiting. I can't wait just to be there and also for the team and my team, it's special, you know. I mean, I really hope that this year we can give Toyota this win in Le Mans, which they've been looking for for many years. The challenge of Le Mans is unlike any other. For the drivers taking part, it requires the highest levels of fitness and preparation. Very long race, <laughs> very long night. Uh, and limit, I mean, you, you go to your limits of your physical and mental capacity. I mean, that's what it is. And you try to be at your top level just on the spot on, on that one day, on that 24 hours. We do actually more than 24 hours of testing. It's like a 30 hours of endurance test. So that's the biggest part of the preparation. And we get used to the rhythm to drive the car and get out of the car, have a rest, sleep, wake up again, drive again, these kind of things. Behind the fight for overall victory, the GTE Pro Class will provide an epic transatlantic battle with Ferrari, Aston Martin and Porsche going up against American Big Guns Corvette and last year's winners Ford. Going back to Le Mans this year, there's definitely less weight on your shoulder. I mean, you go back and win it for a second time <laughs> or you don't win. But we did some great stuff last year as a program and we're only getting better and better, so I think we have a lot of potential to do some more great things. It's not all behind us, there's still a lot in front of us. Everybody wants to win this thing in a battle. Nobody wants to have it handed to them. Racers have a high degree of pride. I think this year we're gonna see a higher level of competition, consequently a lot better racing. I like it when we go in and when anybody can win. That's what makes it fun. That's what we wanna do, we wanna race wheel to wheel and door to door, maybe some paint is going to be changed, that's, that's a GT and I think um, yeah, GT is going to be the category to watch, so it's going to be amazing this year. We have a big manufacturer fighting for the championship, so for every driver it's more motivation to, be, to give everything and to be there. You have to do all correct, no mistakes, in motorsport everybody wants to win, so it's not so easy, but for sure we are well prepared, we are all very happy and we want to be on the podium and to win. With an eight and a half mile mix of permanent racetrack and public roads, the Circuit de la Sarte is a huge challenge for GTE and prototype drivers. But when you've got a thousand horsepower under your right foot, it's a lot of fun too. The first laps at Le Mans every year, they're very special. Uh, when you go down off the Dunlop chicane downhill into Est de la Forêt and Terre Rouge, you just feel like, oh yeah, we're back and then down the long straights, bottoming in the beginning with uh, higher fuel loads. It, it's, yeah, it's so special. For me at Le Mans, my favorite part of the circuit is uh, definitely the Porsche curves. Um, you know, first of all, this part is seriously quick and uh, any corner where you've got to take a little bit of a deep breath before you go in there, you know, and really push yourself is always a nice spot. So this is probably the most spectacular part of the circuit. Alongside Sebastian Buemi and Anthony Davidson, Kazuki Nakajima will be hoping for better luck this year. Coming so close to an historic win in 2016 hasn't dampened the Japanese star's spirit. The atmosphere there is really impressive. It's really a special feeling. It's something that I never felt even when I was racing in Formula One. So it's really great to be there and a big honor as a driver. <laughs>